I've played a good amount of racing games throughout my life and here on the channel, from Forza to Need for Speed, Burnout, and even Dirt. Yes, I've made a video on the most recent entry into the Dirt franchise, that being Dirt 5, however, I think it's time to go back to Dirt 3, the game that really helped players get into this beloved franchise. It's one of my personal favorite racing games to date, standing alongside Forza Horizon as my top games, and while I don't play it all that often, when I do, I have a blast doing it. So today, it's time to suit up in your rally attire, get some earplugs because you're gonna go deaf, and prepare for the roughest and toughest terrain you have ever seen in your entire three years of existence as I play Dirt 3, the Forza Horizon before Forza Horizon. We begin by getting a sick looking intro cutscene, and I like it. We then get to make our profile. It's the usual basic stuff, you know, like the four and surnames, country, and gender. And then there's this audio name. I'm not really sure what this is, but I'm just gonna pick my audio guy name as Jesus. Alright, cool. That way he can say that way he can say that the power of Christ compels you for when I crash into a tree. <laughs> We're also going to be playing on the highest difficulty because I want to suffer. And we're going to be playing on the highest graphical settings. Oh yeah, this is going to be sick. Dirt 3 operates on a championship-like system, much like how Forza Horizon later adopted with its wristbands and championships of its own. You can get a variety of landscapes and different cars and have a co-pilot tell you where you're driving and stuff like that. It's pretty standard stuff. With this, we then take this Fiat and begin our first race in what is probably going to be in the middle of a beach somewhere. Welcome to Finland. This is one of the most iconic rally locations in the world. There's no shortage of jumps, so make sure you don't lose control. Some of the greatest rally drivers have raced here. It's home of the fastest rally stages in the world. This is the service area. You can find information here about the next race. It's also where you can adjust your difficulty in assists and tweak your vehicle setup. I've provided you with a balanced setup to start with, but feel free to have a look and adjust it to whatever suits your driving style best. If you need more info on anything technical, just select it. I want to give credit where it's due. The narrating of this guy is honestly so good that I wish he was in more games. He's informative, supportive, and gives advice that is actually useful. Codemasters, I want this guy in more games. I've always enjoyed the sound effects of Dirt games, and Dirt 3 is no exception. Although I'm going to be completely honest, this car sounds like it's a K-Swap Fiat. And if you don't know what I mean by K-Swap, what I'm essentially saying is that there's a Honda engine in it. Also, I ended up crashing, so that's cool. I somehow placed 8th, and I'd come to know later that this game's AI was no joke. It was pretty hard. And now we're going to race the exact same track in reverse. And in a way, I guess that's how Forza ended up getting its reverse track design and many other games. Unless if I'm wrong. I ended up placing 7th. Not a good look for your boy. So Rallycross is your good old frantic multi-car circuit racing. Your tracks are short sprints and made up of a mixture of surface types for some intense in-your-face racing. With cars that are both quick and agile, this really is all about the overtakes. Be the first to finish, and the glory's yours. Thanks for the very helpful information, British dude, that I definitely don't know. Welcome to Michigan Smelter. Jesus, this is Michigan? This is Michigan. Good lord, I am so sorry to every single American living there if this is actually what it looks like. Good lord. Thankfully, I didn't finish terribly in this race and actually ended in podium.
that footage on YouTube. It makes it me works. laugh knowing that the game literally tells you to post your races on YouTube. And this is 2010, people. Honestly, this game's great. Kenya, home of the Safari Rally. There's only one way to describe this event. Hot. Temperatures are going to be boiling out there on the plains, and those rough surfaces are going to give you a tough workout. Ah, yes, so I'm racing in the entire state of Florida. Thanks, British guy. I'll see you in the deepest quarter of, Ant of Antarctica after this. During the second race, I actually ended up focusing really hard and placed on podium again. I'm gonna have to earn some more points if I want in the finale, so let's head back to Finland and try again for a higher position. The first event went rather well, as I ended up placing third, and in the second event, I placed sixth, averaging roughly fifth place, so therefore, I got the points needed to head to the finale. Honestly, the idea of a head-to-head -head finale race is honestly a really cool idea, and I'm shocked that not really many other games have tried to replicate it since. Unless if you count Forza with Drive Atari head to head, but it doesn't really count. With this, it's time to race in the finale. And I'm just going to show you the second race of this because it's better than the first. Hey look, it's Oxy Motorsports. Does that mean I can now drink bleach while racing? That'd be pretty dope. Now we're in a new championship, heading to a snow-covered circuit. Welcome to Aspen, a place that definitely wasn't named after the horse dude from Frozen. Yes, I'm looking at you, Sven. I did this race in this Subaru, and surprisingly, I ended up cleaning the house. It's now time for a drift showcase. No, it's not going to be with Ken Block and Jim Khan, and no, it's not that time yet. We're going to be ending up drifting on a small course, and to be honest, I think I did pretty well. Maybe? Anyways, let's try to head into online multiplayer, and let's just see what happens. Unfortunately, I did find a game, but it unfortunately never started. So instead, we're just gonna go do something else instead. Let's explore some of the tracks in single player mode, by starting off by heading to Shibuya in a Group B car. My weebs, where are you at? Let's get this music going!
Let's now check out the LA Coliseum because that's a track, surprisingly. It's honestly really dope, and playing it for the first time, probably not the first time, but it's been a while, it is now easily one of my favorite tracks in gaming, and it strangely reminds me of the final race for cars for some reason. I am not entirely sure why, I mean I'm pretty sure it takes place there, but I could be wrong. Welcome to Monaco, home to literally every rich person in every rich car ever, and it's also Jeff Bezos' second home. The final thing that I wanted to do before I end the video is actually quite simple. I want to see just how the visual damage of, the, of this game actually is, and how well it affects cars. So I decided to head to Finland in my Audi and sighted and spent a solid 6 minutes destroying my vehicle. This is the best moments from those 6 minutes. To conclude, Dirt 3 is honestly what Forza Horizon was before the Horizon series even existed if it was more focused in a track racing standpoint. Its gameplay is amazing with great driving conditions and physics, a great selection of tracks, great music that you didn't hear because it's all DMCA-able, and it's developed by a company that actually knows what they're doing. Not to say Playground Games knows what they're doing, they definitely know what they're doing. Dirt is still going today pretty strong, with the most recent entry being Dirt 5, only being roughly about a year or two old, and it's been a smash hit. However, Dirt 3 is still my favorite of all time in the series, and Dirt 5 is a close second. This game in many ways helped many other franchises out, having them give them the better stages of getting started, allowing for new ones to enter, and many, having many others get new ideas from the Dirt series to help make their franchises better. And in general, it's one of the funnest games I have ever played, with humor and characters that just make you bring back in for more. And so with that, I'm just gonna go play more of it. So, my name is Panda Power Sus, remember to stay saucy, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!